Hi everyone and welcome to another Unity 3D Scripting API tutorial and we're going to talk about the on application focus event method. So this is sent to all game objects when an application loses or gets focused. So it's called when an application, by which we mean the Unity Editor window, gets or loses focus. So for this reason, it's used to check whether the current application is focused or not. So it's going to get called immediately after the on application pause event method. And if you remember from the previous tutorial, the on application pause event method is called after the on enable event method if the script component is enabled. And if the script component is disabled, then the on application pause event method is called after the awake event method. Okay. So on application focus will take as an argument a boolean value. So when the on application focus event method is called, it's going to return a boolean true or false value. Okay, so when does it return the boolean false? Now when an application goes to the background and so when we minimize the Unity editor window, then the game application loses focus. So the on application focus event method is going to return the boolean false value. And it's also going to return false when we exit from play mode. Whereas when we maximize the Unity editor window again and the application comes to the front, by which I mean it comes to the foreground and the game application is in focus once again, the on application focus event method is going to return the boolean true value. Okay, let's have a look at this code. So in my Unity editor, I've already uh, I already have a cube object, and my cube controller script is attached to this cube object. And let's have a look at the cube controller script. Okay. So I have my uh, namespaces at the top, then I have my cube controller class which inherits from the mono behavior class, and I have the awake event method, the on enable event method, and the start event method, and within these methods I'm using debug.log to log something, okay, which lets me know basically which event method was called. And from the previous tutorial, I have the on application pause event method, which takes a pause state as an argument, which is a Boolean. And within the body of the on application pause event method, I'm using debug.log to log the string, the application is paused, plus the Boolean true or false value. Okay. Now from this tutorial, we're discussing the on application focus event method, which also takes a boolean as an argument. And within the body of this event method, I'm using debug.log to log the string the application's focus state is plus the true or false value that is returned from this method. And let's take a look at this. So, I'm going to click on play. Okay, let's see what happened. So first the awake event method is called, then the on enable event method is called. Now, if you remember from last tutorial, when the script component is enabled, which it is here, you can see on the right in the inspector window, then the on application pause event method is called and it's going to return the boolean false since the application is not paused, the editor, the unity editor window is not minimized. And immediately after that, the on application focus event method is called and it's going to return the boolean true value because the game is playing and the application or the unity uh, window is in focus. Okay, and lastly, we have the start event method, which is called on the first frame of the game. And let me go ahead and minimize my editor. And now I'm going to maximize it and let's see what happens. 
So we left off here, okay, at the start event method. Let's have a look what happened when we minimized the Unity Editor window. So when we minimized it, the on application focus event method is going to return false because we minimized the Unity Editor window and the application lost focus. Okay, it wasn't in focus anymore. And the on application pause event method returned true because the Unity Editor window was minimized and you know it was paused okay so what happened then when we maximized the unity editor window so when we maximized it the on application pause event method returned false because now the editor was maximized and the application is you know it's not paused anymore whereas the on application focus uh, Method, event method returned true because the editor is maximized and the application is in focus once again. Okay, now let's take a look at what happened when we exit from play mode. So I'm going to click on here again to exit from play mode. And now you can see that the on application focus event method returns false because we exited from play mode and the application is not in focus anymore. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you think this was useful.